I will say Chevrolet did a great job with the look and styling of the Silverado. But here at Summit Racing, we can't leave anything stock. And why would we? There's a lot of great options for upgrading the appearance of the new Silverado, so it doesn't look like it just rolled off the dealer lot. And it doesn't take a lot of time or money to get just the right look. In this episode of the Summit S71 Silverado series, we're gonna add a few appearance items that add to the trail toughness of our rig. While we get started, be sure to subscribe our channel, hit that notification bell, and like the videos so you don't miss out on any of our latest action. All right, our simple makeover starts with the front bumper, and in this case, we're going with the Addictive Desert Design Stealth Bumper. But before we get started, let's get rid of this boring factory bumper. I have a quick tip for you guys. Per ADD's instructions, they want you to loosen these three bolts on each side from underneath with a 15 millimeter wrench. Well, the bumper's still on and it's really tight and they're hard to get out. So we went ahead and pulled the grill shell and then just pulled the bumper that way. It made it much easier and went way faster. Now it's time to add our ADD bumper. You'll notice it comes with a skid plate. It has a modern boxy design that enhances the protection of our truck. And it also offers multiple lighting options as well. You're gonna wanna add your light bar if you're putting one in now before you install it on the truck. We're gonna go ahead and get our wings bolted on and then the bumper on the truck. Back here, we're going with ADD Stealth Fighter Bumper. They're engineered to fit tight to the truck and offer various lighting, hitch, and sensor options. Let's get to work with removing the factory setup. So it's out with the old and in with our new Stealth Fighter Bumper. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get our factory lights and everything installed and then get this thing hung on the truck. Now a little something for the sides of our Silverado. No truck is complete without a set of rugged step bars. We've chosen the Raptor Series Magnum RT Gen 2 drop step bars, which feature a new and improved 30% longer step area with raised slots, providing easier entry and exit from our vehicle. The installation is pretty straightforward and the steps simply bolt onto the factory mounting locations. Let's knock out this installation. We're here on the passenger side of our Chevrolet and we're gonna run you through how to install your Raptor Series step bars. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the body plugs so we can get to the threaded holes. You're gonna to wanna to remove the first set. Now we're gonna move down to the third set of plugs and remove them. Followed by the very last set of plugs. Now that we have all our plugs removed, it's time to hang our brackets. It doesn't matter which bracket you start with as all three brackets are the same. Now we're just gonna attach these loosely and then come back and torque them once we have our step bar on.
Now we're going to go ahead and install our middle bracket. And last but not least, our front bracket. With the three brackets installed, now it's time to hang our step bar. Now before we install our step bar, we're going to go ahead and pre-install our hardware. So we have these cool little T-bolts. So we go behind, put them through, and there's these nice plastic washers to hold them up. And we're just going to do this on the other two mounting points as well. And now we're ready to install our step bar. With a couple pieces of hardware started holding our bar up, we're going to install the rest of our hardware. With the front bracket snugged up, you're just gonna to wanna to repeat this process on the other two brackets and then come back and torque them. We're gonna to torque them to the manufacturer's recommended spec of 20 foot pounds. With all our bolts snugged up, we're gonna to torque those to 20 foot pounds. Now, once you've torqued the bracket, Torque the other two just like this, and you're done. You're just gonna wanna repeat all these steps on the other side. The final piece to our exterior makeover are these Husky wheel well guards. Unfortunately, our new Chevrolet was not optioned with factory liners, so this addition is all about protecting our investment. The durable plastic guards will guard our vehicle's wheel wells from damage caused by rocks, dirt, or whatever else we encounter on our overlanding adventures. And when the journey is over, they simply spray clean in seconds. Let's get these installed. and we're done. Go ahead and repeat this on the driver's side. Now we're starting to get somewhere with our project. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.